Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the recent comments that we have received on the channel. That is, the users are unable to get the ServiceNow personal developer instance or users are being put in a wait list to get the ServiceNow personal developer instance. We have received similar multiple comments about that the user had to wait for a long time to get the ServiceNow developer instance and the wait time was going into multiple days hence it proves that something is not right so we searched about it and we found a recently written blog on the same issue so let's take a look on the blog and hopefully this will give you positive hope that you will get your ServiceNow personal developer instance so this is the blog which we were talking about it's a developer blog and which is written by developer advocate team the title is incident pdi provisioning and offline pdis okay it's written by stephanie morello on september 12 2022 so it's a very recent blog which has been written on the same issue that we have discussed today so users have noticed two things that the developer site was showing no PDIs available, they cannot request new PDIs, and some of the PDIs were erroneously showing as offlines. So, in this, they identified that both of these issues have been escalated to the engineering and are being investigated. Next, then why the users are unable to create a new request for the PDI? So, they are saying is that when all the PDIs in the pool have been allocated to the users then users cannot create new requests for the instance so it means that there are no available pdis and hence the users cannot raise new request for the instance and the reason for this they are saying is that this sometimes happens when there is a high demand for a release as you know that service now has come up with the new release that is tokyo and they are receiving high demand for personal developer instance which are on tokyo version and that is the cause that pdis are not available in the pdi pool and users cannot request new instance and after that they are saying is that engineering team is actively monitoring the pdis so that the pdis are always available in the pool and users can raise the new request for the new pdis of the service now instance so the engineering team is actively monitoring the PDIs and how they are overcoming this issue is that they are working through a wait list of users who want to provision a new PDI. Once they have gone through the wait list more PDIs will be available for all users. Okay, So they are making a wait list in which the user has to wait for some amount of time and after that they will receive their developer instance after that they are saying is that once they have gone through the wait list more pdis will be available for all users okay so they are working with the help of wait list to ensure that the instance must be available to the users now there was second issue was that the pdis was going offline engineering noticed a separate but unrelated issue where tens of thousands of PDIs were offline and they are saying is that various engineering teams are now working to bring up all the PDIs at the rate of 200 per hour. So the engineering team has noticed that tens of thousands of PDIs were gone offline and they are working on it to bring up all the PDIs at the rate of 200 per hour and after that they are saying is that it will take some time for all offline PDS to come back online and after that they are saying is that unfortunately you will need to wait until your PDI is online to be able to access whatever the data is stored on your PDI so you have to wait until your PDI is back online to get access to your data and there is an important reminder as of recent update update September 14 many PDIs have started coming back online since yesterday September 13 and provisioning is also coming back so PDIs have started coming back online 
and provisioning is also coming back means requesting new instances is also coming back but slowly so they are expecting a speedy recovery and all the issues related to pdis will get solved so this was the blog if you want to read this vlog on your own the link for this vlog is given in the description hope you find this video helpful and this vlog gives you positive hope that you can request new pdi and your pdis which are offline will get back online very soon so this was the end of the video if you like this video do share the videos with others with your colleagues with your friends thank you for watching this video bye bye